Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a browser user interface in Adobe XD. So from the Adobe XD welcome screen, select the preset Web 1920 and it will create a new artboard. Next, select the rectangle tool, left click and draw a four sided shape. From the property inspector on the right, we can specify a width of 1280 and a height of 720. And we can center this both horizontally and vertically using the alignment options at the top. Deselect the border and use the color picker to give this shape a fill. Next, with this shape selected, go to edit down to duplicate, select the color picker again, pick a different shade of gray and then just drag up from the bottom. Next, we're going to select this bar along the top and we're going to select the radius options and we're going to round off just the top left and the top right corners. So we can type eight, eight and press enter. And then the lighter gray rectangle, that's the larger one. We're going to round all of these corners off equally. So we can just type in eight here and press enter. So we've created the basic frame for our browser. Now we're going to zoom in to the top left corner and we can select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And again, deselect the border, give this a fill color, just temporary for now. And we can drag this into position. You'll see the smart guides nicely help us line this up vertically in the top bar. And we can then select the repeat grid tool and just drag out towards the right. We can then click on these pink markers in between each of the dots and just adjust the spacing. Now let's move over to the right. We can select the rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to draw a thin horizontal line. Deselect the border. Again, give this a temporary fill color. Type a radius of around four so it will fully round off these corners. And again, we can select the repeat grid option, drag this down until we can see all three and then using the pink markers in between, just adjust that spacing. We can then select the repeat grid group, hold shift and select the top bar and then align these vertically. Now we can go and adjust the sizing a bit further. So I'm going to double click to go inside the repeat grid group and adjust the sizing of this first circle that we created and it will adjust the size of all the others. So for the most part, we've created our browser. What we're going to do now is select the artboard itself and just give this a background color. For this tutorial, I'm going to type F7, F7, F7 and press enter. So a very light gray. I'm then going to select the top bar and give this the color white. So we can just drag the color picker to the very top left. And we can double click these circles again to go inside and I'm going to edit the color of the first one. And I'm going to type the color D6, D6, D6. You can follow along with this tutorial or you can add your own colors. And again, for the menu icon on the right, I'm just going to double click on that top one to go inside, change the color to D6, 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 and it will update all of the other shapes within this repeat grid group. And I'm just going to adjust the spacing slightly and make slightly narrower. Remember, if you do adjust these, you may just want to left click to select, hold shift to select the top bar and just reposition this vertically. Next, I'm going to select the big gray rectangle and we're going to tick the shadow box. Now let's set the X and the Y to zero. So the blur is consistent around all edges on the shape. And we can set the blur itself to 30 and press enter. And if we select the color picker, we can specify the strength of our shadow. So let's go for something really subtle, 15 on the opacity, and just make sure that you have black selected. So that's in the very bottom left corner. 
or the hex color 000000. So for the most part, we've created our browser now. I'm just going to adjust the spacing. So let's just drag this all the way to the left. So our circles touch the left edge of the browser and I'm going to hold shift and just tap the right arrow key three times. Again, we can do this on the right hand side. Just drag this over to the right, hold shift and now tap left three times just so the spacing on the right edge and the left edge is both consistent. What we can also do is we can drag over everything. I'm just going to show you something quickly here. We can just move this to one side, go to edit, duplicate, and then drag this copy over here. Now what we can do is select both the white bar along the top and the big gray rectangle and just drag these in from the right. We can then drag the gray bar only up from the bottom and just move our menu icon into position. And we've quickly created a mobile version of the browser that we're creating. So you can use this to create different sizes depending on the type of designs that you're looking to present. Anyway, back to the main browser. So we've created our browser now. Now we need to add some artwork. So let's select the rectangle tool and left click and draw one last four sided shape. Deselect that border, pick any fill you like. Let's go for like a bright yellow just for fun. And we're going to zoom in nice and close and just align this with the left edge just so it covers the entire area of the gray rectangle. So just that gray one and we also need to round off just the bottom left and the bottom right corners. So we can do that by selecting the different radius for each corner option in the property inspector and we can set the bottom left to 8 and the bottom right to 8 and press enter. Now once we've done that and we've added that rectangle on top of our gray rectangle, we can then find our artwork that hopefully is sized to similar dimensions so that it doesn't skew out of shape. And we can just drag this onto that yellow rectangle, let go, and it will add your artwork into the browser. And there we go, that's how you can draw a browser user interface in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.